I'm Angela Cato with the Division of Arts and Cultural Services. This month, City Arts hosting four new exhibits by artists who have strong opinions about the world around them. Come to City Arts to see what they have to say. In the main gallery is a show titled Malleability. In this exhibit, you'll see two very different sides of metalsmithing by regional artists Elliot Pujol and Eric Reiser. Pujol is a professor of art at Kansas State University in Manhattan. He is an internationally respected artist who received a 2010 Governor's Art Award. Pujol has worked in a variety of metals, but said he favors copper because of its workability. Visitors to City Arts will see a good sampling of his work, which is comprised mostly of vessels. His largest piece on display at City Arts is a boat that is big enough to set sail. It is made out of mahogany wood, and found objects create the base. Reiser also lives in Manhattan. For the past eight years, his work has been strictly focused on iron and steel. He uses a multi-step process to etch in steel plate, much like printmakers do. One process involves the use of nitric acid. His current body of work is a three-dimensional visual study in current military icons and imagery. He is also known for his decorative boxes. One of his most unique pieces in the City Arts exhibit is a working barbecue created out of surplus army supplies. Adjacent to the main gallery in the main hall is an exhibit by Robert J. Schmidt, a Wichita native who is proud to be back in his hometown after a move to Texas. The name of his exhibit is Elements and Objects. His abstract collages find life through found objects such as depression glass, aviation composite metals, and organic metals. His ability to combine both old and new objects into his artwork imply a greater meaning that the past is irrequably connected to our future. The upstairs balcony is dedicated to Transitional Spaces, a collection of paintings, digital art, and photographs by Travis Hennen. Hennen grew up on a farm surrounded by natural beauty. He loved wandering through Mother Nature and viewing the great patterns she created. There were a few hints growing up that he might become an artist, but it wasn't until he completed his third college degree that he really considered it a possibility. In his artwork, Hennen takes an abstract view on nature and reality. His goal is to take viewers on a journey into a new, beautiful subconscious unlike anything they've experienced before. The third floor gallery is home to one of City Art's most unique exhibits. With support from an artist grant from the Arts Council, art therapy graduate student Valerie Denny created an open studio where the area's homeless population could express themselves through art. While they are often referred to as the invisible population, the artwork created by Wichita's homeless men and women demands attention. The two- and three-dimensional works range from personal views on current events that are as timely as the Sandy Hook elementary shootings to where they see themselves in the world. Artists express themselves in many ways, and we're proud to offer you so many diverse social viewpoints, from artists who are professionally trained to those society has tended to overlook. For City 7, I'm Angela Cato.